Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Boyge here getting ready to take out the Italian Reserve CR32 and Air Realistic. Um, it's a good plane. It's kind of a jack of all trades. So it's got the 50 cals, tons of ammo. You can do a lot of damage with the 50s. Um, it can't outturn most of the other biplanes. It can't outclimb anything. So the real key to this plane is to make sure that whenever you get into a fight, you have an energy advantage. Um, you're not going to be able to keep up in speed with P36s, P400s, 109, some of the stuff you're going to run into. So uh, that energy advantage will kind of uh, help you out and take your opponent's advantage away. All right. So let's take it out and see what we can do with it. All right. So the map Sicily, we've got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load. And we are ready to take off. I think it's a relatively small map. This, this takeoff run takes a while. All right, so a few of us reserves. We do have a BF 109B1 on our side. Looks like another small match. Get our speed up to 125. Check the map. So our runway's coming off this way. There's this that way. Pretty much just stay straight, we'll run into them. See who we're up against. So, Merca in Britain, two of them are working together as a squad. 10v10, a little bit bigger than last game, we'll take it. What do we have? Mostly fighters. We got a Doe, HS123, which can be a fighter. An attacker, which can be a fighter too, so. So no WEP on this one, just uh, running it at 100% all the time. I don't think I've overheated yet. Should be fine. like the Doe and the HS-123 are going after bases. I don't like that our 109 is staying low. That means he probably doesn't know how to fly the plane. Land them we're not going to worry about. SB-2 maybe. And their P-36 is climbing, which isn't great for us. 400 as well so the key is to try and get after their highest guy if you can this is air realist across the board doesn't matter what BR try and go after their highest guy if you can get to him and at least bring him down um, you don't have to shoot him down but at least make him lose some altitude and energy make it easier on your team if you do get three or four guys against you and you know you're gonna die best thing you can do is try to get them low and slow so just dive turn whatever you, whatever you need to do to uh to use up their energy so when your teammates get after them um your teammates can have the advantage all right so this is good p400 and the p36 stop climbing now that the ba is done we're probably going to be their next target let's look where our support is three guys to our right so if we get in trouble we're gonna deck off that way see if I can get any of these guys to climb stall for me gotta get my speed up to 150 P400's maybe thinking about it no he wants the 109 P shooters going after that guy Let's see we just dive in I think they're all pretty low and slow at this point it's aggressive but P400 has some heavy guns. He needs to go. Alright, gonna get directly over him before we dive. So, he's faster than us normally, but we do have that energy advantage, so we're actually faster than him at the moment. Let's go ahead and climb to save some of that energy. Don't like that F3F where he is. One off to the right as well. Uh, I think what we're going to do is do a head on with the F3F and then drag him down to where our teammates are. It's the best plan we got. He can outturn us, so I don't want to get in a lone turn fight with him. And 
small hit for mankind. Try not to run into the 109. Alright, tail's out. So they got a decent amount of players left, but they're all pretty far away, so let's just go ahead and hit some grounds while we're here. We'll go back, reload, and then worry about the rest of them. Ace first. Let's try to line ourselves up with the, uh, the way the ground units are lined up. Easier to get multiples. Chick stick multiples. Kill the M8, right? Yeah. Can't kill those guys, but we can get the M8. E36 is coming in, keeping half an eye on them. Just in case we become his target. That group's done. Let's head over to the right, next group. Try to get a little speed up for that P-36. Right thing to do is figure out what he's doing before we uh, get after grounds and get ourselves in trouble. Looks like he wants the 109. They're playing uh, tummy sticks with their smoke. Alright, he's pretty much down. No sense giving him something to shoot at. Back on grounds. Lined up nicely at the moment. Focus on A's first. 308 rounds of ammo, that should be plenty. Six. Let's go ahead and turn around, make sure there's anything we miss. Nope. Next group. Let's see, they're down to one player. Let's see if we can see who he is. Alright, so we got two lines converging. Just not what we want, but make it work. It means we're going to be taking a lot of AA fire, potentially get shot down, but got to risk it for the biscuit. Love them 50s. Just go ahead and break off for the other line. Lined up nicely. Helps if you shoot them, but whatever. All right, that was a good game. The CR32 uh, showed the effectiveness of those 50 cows. Ended up with two air targets, 16 grounds, got thunder, and first place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.